Brand Trade Guitars is giving away this Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul to one of you. How to enter? Subscribe to Playing Trade Guitars on YouTube and we'll give it away when we hit 50,000 subscribers. Hey, welcome back to Playing Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and we've got a real piece of history to look at today. We're talking about a 1958 Gibson Les Paul Jr. double cut. They made them double cut from 58 to about 61. And you can tell from this original alligator case that we are talking about the real deal. Wait till I flip these latches, we'll put it on the bench and talk full specs. And then of course we'll plug it in and play it. At the top, if you're in the market for this guitar, it is for sale. You can see our for sale link in the description. And if you're looking for a new guitar like this, you can also look at our purchase link for the similar Gibson Custom Shop version of this guitar. Let's flip the latches and look at this incredible Les Paul Jr. This guitar is a family heirloom. It was purchased by the original owner in the early 60s at a garage sale, believe it or not. It comes with the original case. You're, you'll see this original alligator case. So let's go ahead and flip these latches. Everything is intact. I'll give you a glimpse of the condition of this beautiful, Cherry Gibson Les Paul Jr. double cut from 1958. And check out this, it's got the original hang tag right here on the guitar. And oh my goodness, it's not every day that you get to see this guitar in this condition and taking it out of the case, this is just a true beauty. Of course, you're talking about a slab mahogany body. This is gonna be a Brazilian rosewood fretboard with a mahogany neck. Uh, no maple cap on this, and of course, in 1958, they started introducing the double cut, kind of on their way to redesigning the Les Paul eventually into what we now call the SG. But in that transitional time, you've got this nice 58 profile neck and just an incredible piece of history with a single P90. Let's head over to the bench and take a deep dive. Gold screen Gibson, you can see Les Paul Jr. here, also gold screen. You have the original single line Clusen Deluxe tuners. Get a load of these. I've never seen them with the knobs uh, quite this well preserved. Get a close look at this ink stamp serial number here. No breaks in the headstock at all. Beautiful piece of mahogany. A little bit of UV fade across the guitar. You have the original nylon nut. And then coming down, once I get these strings off, you'll get a glimpse at this rosewood fretboard. This will be Brazilian rosewood. You have a completely intact under blacklight uh, neck joint to the body itself. Everything looks fantastic. Frets are in fantastic shape given the age of this guitar. Single P90, the original wraparound tailpiece. And then real simple rock machine, volume and tone. I love it. And get a look at that truss rod. It looks like it probably was never even adjusted, truthfully. You can still see the black paint on the edge there. And then with that UV fade, you get that nice vintage kind of orange cherry, which looks great, especially with this tortoise shell pickguard. Here's the original plastic cover. See a part number there, UG450-1. P90 reading at 7.5. Here's the test of the volume. Bring it back, we should see 7.5 again. Perfect volume pot. Tone won't have any effect on the multimeter. I just don't want to see any jumping connections or anything. If it reads perfectly, that's a beautiful sight right there. A nut at 1.66 inches. First fret at 0.89 inches up to 0.97 inches at the 12th. Six pounds, 12 ounces, so 6.75 pounds. Never ceases to amaze me, these golden era guitars. You take them back out and they just don't need a thing. And it has that just beautiful bell ring to it. All that's left to do is plug it in and play it. I'll start with some DI cleans. We'll dirty it up with a Fender Deluxe Reverb and then we'll put it behind a track and let it sing. These are the days we wait for. I can't wait to play this one. Remember that this is for sale and you can find our purchase link and contact information down in the description. But uh, let's plug it in and play it.
Not every day you get to play a piece of real history, and this is the 1958 Gibson Les Paul Jr. double cut. I really like the double cut for the extra access to the upper register. This guitar is set up and plays phenomenally. I can't believe you just pull a guitar like this out of the case and it's 100% ready to go, but it is. We did the deep dive on the bench. I gave you all the measurements and specs. Remember, if you're interested in this guitar, it is available for sale. You can contact us directly using the link in the description. It's also on Reverb. Uh, but at the end of the day, we want to find the right player or collector for this beautiful guitar, original case, hang tags, everything. Just an incredible piece of history. Thanks for watching this rundown of the 1958 Gibson Les Paul Jr. Double Cut. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for hanging with us on Playing Trade Guitars.